Hi there, are you a VTuber? Do you want to collab with other VTubers and have their live 2D model on stream with you? Let me introduce you to Twitch's new feature, Guest Star. With Guest Star, you can add other friends' live 2D models on stream with you. My name is Chiwubaka, variety streamer on Twitch and resident plush bear VTuber, and today I'm going to show you how to use Twitch's Guest Star feature as the host and as the guest star. First things first, we're going to open up Google Chrome. If you don't have Chrome or use something else like Firefox, Opera GX, Microsoft Edge, etc., you're going to need to install it, as Guest Star currently only works with Chrome at the time of this recording. Now that we have Google Chrome open, we're going to go to the Twitch homepage. We're going to click on our profile and we're going to go to our creator dashboard. Here on the right in our quick actions, there should be a little pop up for Twitch Guest Star. It's going to enable a pop up, so make sure that you have those enabled. And we'll go there right now. Once your pop up has been enabled and you're at our Twitch Guest Star spot, this is going to be the screen that pops up. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to enable our webcam. So, once I'm over here, as you can see, I have myself, I already have my model up and running in this little scenario. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the little webcam. You can turn it off, you can turn it on, and you can choose which one it's going to be. For this specific scenario, we want VTube Studio Cam. Before we do this, I will show you how to set that up. In order to set up your virtual webcam, you're going to need to first open up VTube Studio. Then we're going to double click and get to our settings over here in our little cog. We're going to go up here and switch to our camera. Then we're going to switch all the way down to virtual webcam config. We're going to activate the virtual webcam. And for personal preference, I like to mirror my video so that it looks the exact same way it does in VTube Studio than it will when we are actually on our Twitch guest star. After that, you can go ahead and close it. And then we're gonna go back to our Twitch guest star. Now that your virtual webcam is set up, you're gonna come back to your Twitch guest star and we're going to go ahead and select VTube Studio Cam and whichever microphone you use. There may be a pop up that is asking you to allow webcam, and you're going to press yes, and your character should already be up and running. Next, it's going to take us to Configure Guest Star. This is basically going to allow us to decide whether we want to have our guest stars in individual browsers or as a group. If you've ever used Fuji Reactive, this is very similar, where you can get individual browser links for your individual guest stars, or if you would like to have it more organized, you can do a group link. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be going through individual. Once here, it's going to give you the browser source URL that you're going to need to copy into your OBS in order for them to show up on your stream. Once you've copied the browser URL, you're going to go to your OBS, go under your sources, add a source, browser. For me, I personally like to name it the person whoever it's going to be, but for now, we're just going to name it guest star one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to copy and paste whatever it is into our URL and it should pop up here. I don't have a guest up at the moment, so it's going to be transparent, but we're going to be adding a guest very soon. As you can see here, I've enabled my friend Sushi to come in as a guest star and we're going to be able to slot them as guest number one. Here, we're able to enable their webcam and their microphone. Usually, when you're dealing with other VTubers, they're going to have their virtual webcam already enabled and or their microphone, and you have the power to turn it off and or on. You're also able to go ahead and take them off and add them back into the queue or remove them entirely. 
out of them to the slot, you're going to need to push them so that they're able to be seen on stream. As you can see here, Sushi is making a bunch of different little faces for us, and we're going to need to enable them on stream so that we can get them on there. As you can see, I'm able to move them with my cursor around in OBS so that they're being able to be moved individually. Next thing you're going to want to do is fix their background. As you can see, Sushi has a lilac background and that's also showing up on our stream at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to go into our OBS studio and go into filters and add a chroma key. As you can see here, I'm trying to fix Sushi's background the best that I can, and I've made them somewhat transparent, so I'm going to be able to fix that in a little bit. And for now, let's just see how this matches up with her. <laughs> Once you find the perfect mix, you'll be able to make their background transparent. Sometimes there's going to be a little black box either around them or near them. As you can see, there's a line right above Sushi's head. All we need to do to fix it is have them go full screen. As you can see, Sushi went full screen and now the line is completely gone. And I'm still able to go and move them all about as they make their funny little faces. Another little tidbit I like to give is that if you are using another source of audio, such as Discord, or maybe you're on a phone call with them, uh, you can go ahead and mute your guest star so that they can't hear you. It is also really cool that you're able to mute them so you can't hear them and they can hear you, and you can do a bunch of other different scenarios with it. I really hope this video was informative to you and easy enough to follow. Please leave any advice on future videos in the comments, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please have a great day. Goodbye, my plushy pals. I'll see you all later.